Hello investors, do you remember the last time you ate McDonald's? Because I'm loving it. So today we're going to be talking about and analyzing the McDonald's stock and pretty much we're going to be talking about to see if McDonald's is still, still a good investment or not in 2019 and just going over the fundamentals. We will also be discussing the McDonald's dividend and checking out if the dividend is a decent dividend or if it's too low. Now if these are the type of videos you're enjoying, uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you turn on that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new uh, video. And don't forget to smash that like button for me. Let's get some likes on this video. Let's aim for 50. Thank you everybody for 3,000 subscribers and let's keep going. Alright, so let's uh, begin this analysis with the main part. So pretty much McDonald's right now is trading at around $211 per share. Uh, McDonald's actually hit an all-time high this week or around $213 per share. So McDonald's has a market cap of $161 billion, which is a little bit, you know, high, but it's still pretty decent. And its forward PE ratio is 24.25 right now. And also McDonald's has a quarterly dividend of 2.21%, which is not a, you know, bad dividend, especially in today's economy. That's pretty decent. You, you know, the bank's don't even you know the banks pretty much uh, don't even give you that much they give you around two percent or less uh. and since we're on the topic of dividends let's uh let's get, dig into it and talk about dividends for a little so mcdonald's is paying out more than half of its uh, income actually as dividends but it's being paid out by cash flow which is actually the positive sign because that means they're receiving income in and paying out dividends with that income that they're receiving. And also the dividend has been consistent. So we're, you know, receiving the dividends consistently, which is also another positive sign for McDonald's. You know, overall McDonald's is not, you know, the biggest dividend you can find out there, but it's a decent dividend for the type of stock that McDonald's is. You know, McDonald's is a solid company and I believe that, you know, a 2.21% dividend is very solid for it and especially with the growth that's going on with McDonald's. McDonald's recently announced that after they switched from frozen beef to fresh beef in the quarter pounder, that they sold uh, 40 million more quarter pounders in the first quarter of 2019 compared to the first quarter in 2018. Now that is, that is some huge numbers right there, 40 million patties, you know, 40 million burgers. Now that right there just shows you that people still want real burgers and that beyond meat thing, the whole vegetarian stuff, that's just, you know, it's not even close to something like McDonald's. Like this is huge number. Also McDonald's recently removed eight items from the menu that the uh, customers did not, you know, approve of, did not like as much. So McDonald's said, let's get rid of these. McDonald's is also investing more money into uh, technologies that are going to be improving the people's experience, reducing errors, you know, with orders and just uh, helping customers have a better time and enjoying the experience some more. This will hopefully increase the foot traffic for McDonald's, which has decreased in the recent times. So let's talk numbers. Let's talk about, you know, the earnings from the first quarter and let's talk about what's going to be happening in the future quarters and what we can expect from McDonald's. So McDonald's definitely beat earnings in the first quarter thanks to its promotions and store upgrades that they had. Earnings for the first quarter were uh, $1.78 versus $1.75, which was expected. Revenue for the first quarter was $4.96 billion compared to $4.93 billion that was expected by Wall Street. Expected in same sales store up by 5.4% versus 3.4% increase. Wow, so pretty much all three of those sections right there, McDonald's beat every single one. That is amazing for the first quarter earnings. Now just to add this, you know, as a little detail for you guys, this was the 15th consecutive quarter of positive global comparable sales in a row for McDonald's, which is amazing for McDonald's right there. 15 in a row is pretty big. Okay, so let's put all this information together and think about this one. So McDonald's has been growing at a decent rate. Dividends are doing pretty good. Revenue has been growing and it's been doing great. Sales have increased recently, and these are some of the reasons that I still believe that McDonald's is a great buy in 2019. Because pretty much, you're guaranteed that 2% you know profit from the dividend because every year you're going to be receiving a 2% dividend unless it increases or decreases, which you will be you know made aware of. Year to date, McDonald's has increased from about $176 per share to the current price of a. Uh, $211 per share. And that means that currently at this point, McDonald's has increased about 20% this year, which is, you know, one fifth of the stock right there. That is amazing profits, like 20%. If somebody told you, hey, if you buy this stock right here, you're gonna make 20%, you would definitely take it. 
20% plus that 2% dividend, that's 22% total right there. And if you want to even go further, you know, back into five years, McDonald's has increased from about $93 to the current price of $211. And that's an increase right there of 126%. So if you average that out over five years, that's about 25% increase yearly. And 25% over five years, you know, every year, that is a pretty decent growth, in my opinion. You know, once again, if somebody told me, you know, here's a stock, it's going to grow 25% every year. Do you want to invest into it? I would say yes. I believe in my opinion that, you know, McDonald's is going to keep up the growth for itself, that it's going to be keep increasing its revenue, especially with all these promotions that they're having and just new things they're trying, especially the fresh beef instead of frozen. I think they're going to have to implement that into the other burgers in order to keep up with the competition. I mean, we all know what Wendy's is doing right now. So McDonald's needs to keep up and uh, make sure that people are going to, customers are going to keep staying and buying from McDonald's. Now, let me give you a little bit uh, of information pretty much. So remember 2008 when the whole, you know, recession was going on and everything was crashing? Well, let me give you a little piece of information about McDonald's during that time. Guess what McDonald's was doing? McDonald's was actually increasing in price. McDonald's was actually trending up. If you look at the graph, I might actually put the graph up on the screen for you guys. McDonald's was actually increasing its price while everything else was going down. So in my eyes, McDonald's is pretty much recession proof. No matter you know what's going on, McDonald's is going to be going up because even if you don't have money, people are always going to be hungry and they're going to be going to McDonald's because it's pretty cheap and there's a McDonald's around every corner right now of everybody's you know location. McDonald's is something you can get quick. You're in and out. You know, if you're going through drive-throughs or even inside, now they have the little kiosks. You can just enter in what you want. You don't even have to talk to you know anybody in there. You can just put it in the computer and you get your food right there. So in my opinion, yes, McDonald's is still a great buy in 2019 for its dividend, for its growth, and just everything in general. I believe is positive around McDonald's. Uh, McDonald's is not going anywhere for a long time. So yes. I am actually invested in McDonald's, as you guys know, from my portfolio, and I'm going to be buying more shares eventually once I add some more funds. So if you guys enjoyed this uh, McDonald's analysis, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on that bell notification. I make other reviews on, you know, other stocks. I've already done Disney and I plan on doing other stocks in the future. So make sure you check those out and check out all my other reviews. Uh, make sure you smash that like button for me. Let's get some likes on this video. And in the comments below, make sure you leave me your suggestion and leave me your comments on what you think about McDonald's stock as, you know, yourself. What do you think? Do you think it's a good buy or not? And tell me in the comments what stock you guys want me to review next. So I'll see you guys next time and I hope you guys enjoy. Goodbye.